My name is David Double D. Devereaux. I'm spokesperson for the Washington State Confederation of Clubs and also the Council of Clubs, an organization that connects confederations and coalitions and motorcycle clubs from coast to coast. I want to discuss the mischaracterization of the Confederation of Clubs by Waco authorities and law enforcement following the tragedy on May 17, 2015. Originally, the purpose for the gathering at the Twin Peaks was described by Waco law enforcement as gang related in nature, a meeting to discuss the issues of recruitment and turf between two of the biggest motorcycle clubs in Texas. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Despite the fact that it was publicly available information, this was a gathering of the Texas Confederation of Clubs and Independents, a legislative and political organization of motorcycle clubs in Texas. Despite this fact, law enforcement chose the irresponsible narrative. Why is this so important? The purpose for gathering was political in nature. Political speech in the United States is given the highest level of scrutiny relative to all other forms of speech. How this discussion is framed has everything to do with how the general public will perceive and adjudicate the information that the media delivers them. What I mean by this is if it's understood as a gathering of gang members, people will be far less sympathetic and far less demanding of scrutiny on issues like due process and excessive bond than they would be if it were properly understood and characterized as a gathering of a political organization, the Confederation of Clubs, that has gathered for more than 20 years coast to coast without incident. With the resources available to law enforcement authorities in Waco, there is no way it can be justified that the proper research was not conducted. The Confederation of Clubs in Texas is responsible for a long list of positive contributions to the motorcycling community legislatively and politically. In fact, coast to coast, the state that I'm from, dedicates its time and its energy at the grassroots level fighting the exact stereotype and promotion discrimination by law enforcement authorities that are present in Waco. In 2011, we were able to pass the first motorcycle profiling bill addressing law enforcement profiling of motorcyclists in America. It substantially reduced the issue. Unfortunately, things like Waco and the mischaracterization of the Confederation of Clubs post that event competes with this narrative. It's very important that motorcyclists at all levels, and particularly motorcyclists involved in the motorcycle rights movement, continually defend the Confederation of Clubs and our right to politically gather. If the incident in Waco is allowed to be reduced to nothing other than a gang-related gathering with no political viability or no legislative viability, then our future is seriously in question. It's important that we make people understand that we have been gathering for two decades peacefully for the purpose of capturing the political rights base of literally hundreds of thousands of people that express their associations through patches and symbols on their jackets. It's called the Motorcycle Club community. It's a cornerstone of America, and it's time to defend it.